Hey guys, I'm going to try to get through this before the bell rings, so let's see how fast I can talk. Um, we are going to do an end of the year biology project, and we are going to take all of the stuff that you learned, or even one piece of something that you learned, and you are going to do a project. And project can be pretty much anything you want. It's pretty open-ended. You do not have to do a certain thing or a specific thing. It is pretty open-ended. I'm going to remind you of some of the things that we have um, learned. We have learned about cells. We've learned about biomolecules, enzymes, cellular energy, photosynthesis, cellular respiration, mitosis, cell cycle, meiosis, Gregor Mendel, Mendelian genetics, Punnett squares, non-Mendelian genetics. So that it would be everything from like sex link traits to um, co-dominant and complete dominance. Um, DNA, protein synthesis, DNA replication. Don't forget that. Mutations, natural selection, evidence of evolution, speciation, energy pyramids, biodiversity, biomes, and ecosystem disruption. So lots and lots and lots of stuff. And you do not have to pick um, uh, one thing. You can pick a couple things. Describe how they how they get tied together and how, um, uh, you know, they work with all of biology. Um, you can discuss something that applies to your life or something that you learned that you really like that you learned. Um, there's lots of different things you can do. You can do models. You can do a song. You can do, um, well, well, we'll get to that in a second. Let's look at a couple of examples first, okay? So here is an example of modeling, right? There's some models here. These are made out of food. This is obviously a plant cell because they're going for like this large vacuole that looks like it's made out of chocolate and a chocolate chip cookie uh, <laughs> nucleus with a nucleolus on it. And obviously this is going to be some rough ER and smooth ER, chloroplast. Um, this one is made out of styrofoam, um, but you can really use anything you want. I would say don't spend any money. Just kind of use what you have on hand. Um, these are good old fashioned dioramas, if you can remember that um, from elementary school where you did something inside of a box. These are like biomes. Um, this is like a spinning food chain. So that's an example. These are more models, DNA modeling. Move myself around. And I think I was hungry when I was putting these together because um, this is another edible cell. And these are a bunch of different um, methods and of, of making DNA molecules. And here's some more. Um, we got a uh, mitosis cookie cell cycle thing. We have some crossing over cakes um, showing crossing over for chromosomes. And then you have some um, cells in a stage of, you know, probably cytokinesis and telep or telophase and cytokinesis of division. Okay. Those are some examples. Um, then we have just some other examples. This is, I mean, you could go outside of what we've learned in class and maybe talk about something that um, embody systems because we don't do a lot with that. This is a model of an excretory system. This is a costume you can make. Um, these are just like little models. They were demonstrating something that had to do with um, lungs. And if they blew that up, it blew up the balloon that looked like um, lungs. Um, this is a uh, song um, by Katie Grace. You probably know her. She's a senior this year, but they had to do something about DNA replication and they had very specific things they had to do in one of the, what she did was make a cover for me. And I'm just going to play you a very um, beginning bit of this so you can kind of get an idea. Okay, I just love that, <laughs> but um, that's that's one idea. So when we talk about a song, it could be a popular song that you just um, use cover words for. Um, this is an example of stop motion um, by another senior. This is Camilla, and she, again, was doing the DNA replication project. 
And I'm going to kind of fast forward it to the stop motion part because it's really pretty I'm cool. Camilla, and today we will be Let me show you how. Okay, let's go here. I'm always do this job. I might have not pronounced that right, but oh well. But look at how you can see it move and you can see stuff changing behind it. Here's how it's showing it's showing the lucent. And then watch when the helicase goes. We know about helicase, right? We know that that opens it up. And look at it. Isn't that pretty cool? So that's an example of stop motion video. This is a um, PSA video. Let me show you this. Your local reporter for your local news station. We have many interesting segments for you today. First up, e-waste. Are we disposing correctly? Stick around for later. So we all need to learn how to dispose of these goods correctly to help conserve our environment and keep the cycle of production as sustainable as possible. So she's like herself um interviewing herself so that's a good idea um but one of the things that you um also might want to look into doing is a demonstration a song a video a skit stop motion like i said a comic book children's book concept maps models lab demonstration baking project model computer animation art piece diorama nutritional guide news broadcast interview or decorations so whatever it is get it approved by me and you're good to go so spend the day today um figuring out what topic you're going to use and then what um, mode or method that you're going to use and let me know. Okay, take care guys.